What's up, guys? Roby's here. And today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about what Assassin's Creed, the newer ones, did right. Now, this is going to be a continuation of what I said last time about what they did wrong. Now, this is going to be incorporating the, the newest games that we've gotten, uh, in the Unity and Assassin's Creed Syndicate. You guys can't see it because it's all flipped, and I don't know how to fix this. But, um, enough of that. Okay. Let's start this countdown right. Number five, parkour. I said this in the last one about one of the things I didn't like, but this is one of the ones I do like. Uh, the ones, uh, the one in Syndicate better than I do Unity because Unity was kind of sloppy. But and freaking uh, Syndicate, you got this grappling hook you can just use flawlessly, and you would think that it messes with the parkour system, but it doesn't. It just adds a level of intensity. So you can get across those mountains. Mountains? Yeah. Because cause I'm thinking about Just Cause. Yeah. Grappling hook. Just Cause. <sighs> across the buildings. I'm sorry, guys. <sighs> Number four. Customization. Now, there is a lot of customization in Unity, which I do like about the game. And there's a lot of customization in Syndicate. Including, including the crafting table and what you earn through missions, and like the color schemes and all that, it's really good. And especially the the weapons you can make. Oh my god, um, I love I love crafting, so I'm glad to have that back in Assassin's Creed. So having that uh, decision, choose what my character is like, and oh yeah, and also with customization comes with. Uh, the skill system, which is going to be number three, the ranking system slash skill system. Now, this is actually a really good take on Assassin's Creed, because before you were just like, this guy killed everyone. Now you actually have to build up your character. Like, if you go into like a level seven area, and you're like a level three, you gonna die. Because, like, you are too weak, and you have no weapons, unless you're like me, and you just take over stronghold you can. The city of London will be mine. Which I actually did take the city of London. The little section. And it was hard. Especially being a level 4. It was like, ugh. It's, it's a good game, guys. I love this. Coming in at number 2 is related to this as well. Strongholds slash city takeover. Now, this was one of the best things I love from Syndicate. Syndicate did this well. They incorporated taking over strongholds to get like little sections and oh my god I love I, I live for that stuff I love feeling accomplished about taking over cities that's why I loved um if you guys remember Saints Row 2 and Saints Row 3 they used to do that system where you would take over this little section and it would be yours um I think Grand Theft Auto did that at one point too but this is a good idea and once you take over the city you know you get more respect and all that and it's just amazing. Honorable mention before I get to the first one. The honorable mention is better weapons. Now, what I mean by better weapons, I know I said limited weapon choices, but the weapons we get are actually pretty good. Because, like, you get that cool knife thing in Syndicate, you get, like, the axes and, like, the shotguns and stuff in Unity. Even though you can't use two, like an axe with a sword, even though Ubisoft could have done it with a hidden blade, but no, they didn't want to. <laughs> All right, another honorable mention before I get to the first one is the crafting system. Now I don't, know, I don't know why this didn't come in number two. I just like the strongholds, um, city takeover thing. So I guess crafting system got pushed back. I already said that, but the crafting system is really good. I love. Uh, searching for stuff and like getting stuff that I earned in through the game unlike Far Cry 4 Which is gave you it <sighs> That's another that's another thing that irks my nerves is Far Cry 4. I'll make a video on that later, but okay number one multiple characters now I know this is relatively new to Assassin's Creed but multiple characters no, you know what revelations Revelations, you had the Altair memories, but whatever. Um, the uh, multiple characters is good. Uh, having two characters in the same world 
is more immersive, and you get, like, two sides of the story. Kind of like Grand Theft Auto V did. This is about the same way. You kind of like go to the pause menu, and you, like, hit your analog stick, and you switch to Eevee or Jacob. And it's really good. Like, you would think, like, oh, Assassin's Creed, how would they do that? But they did it. Um, because, like, there's, like, crime scene ones, and there's, like, all these different stronghold things. Syndicate, I love Syndicate. Like, that's my baby right now. I love Syndicate. I haven't finished it yet, but I love it. It's one of my favorite Assassin's Creed's behind three. I know a lot of people are going to judge me for that. I like the history. I like the history about three. I love Brotherhood, too. Oh my God, Brotherhood. But, okay. I gotta go off on another rant right now. I forgot to mess- I forgot to do this. In the mess up thing. What the heck was up up with Unity? Like, I know, like, there's riddles and stuff in, like, Brotherhood, but you could figure those out. In Unity, you had to have an app that didn't work for you to solve the mystery to get this awesome outfit. And I'm like... But that's a whole different video. That's gonna be in. That's gonna be in the why people hate it. <sighs> All right, guys. Thank you guys for listening. I always enjoy you guys' company. You guys give me a lot of energy. And other than that, guys, I am Robobeats. I'll see you guys next time. Robobeats out. <laughs>